Mr. Stone. Mr. Um, White Knight. Yep. This is a this is a very very focused on punish game matchup. Um, very mm -hmm. little little margin of error. Um, you pretty much are just always in a very dangerous situation when you get grabbed by either of these characters. I think it's definitely grainy, grainy edged, um, mainly due to the fact of just the the weight of Azula. She she sometimes just flies off like a paper just flying in the wind. F strong knee back air. They're just such powerful kill moves against her. Um, but you know, Azula's got a really consistent combo game. I think that's the main difference between her and Granny is that she can consistently get more more extensions, but Granny gets the stock slot earlier. Yeah. Both fast fallers okay. too, so yeah. Sorry. Uh, you know, if we if we see some clean play here, we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of combos. That's all I know. The TOD fest that can occur. Oh. Already getting the upper chairs going, the chains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. More upper. Ooh. One thing I'm curious. I didn't watch too much of Benjamin's previous matches. I'm curious if he's going to start doing the uh, dive kick that I know Alpha's a big fan of. Oh, like at ledge? Mm-hmm. Backer's actually just going to find it there. Yeah. Like at roughly 100. Nice Strong move. Ooh. Like Stango was saying, Azula's one of those light characters in the game. She gets to a certain percent, she just blows up. But then oh, she yeah. gets yeah. to do stuff like this. Ah, oh, doesn't find it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big, big, big thing for this matchup is just the, the, the accessibility of Azula's combos are just kind of always, always there. Granny kind of needs some specific setups just because Azula's lightness does kind of make it where you can't go crazy on her like you're comboing like El Tigre or another character that's like super, super combo food. But yeah, you get to that percent range where the, you know, the text is starting to get red on their numbers. Any of your strong moves will kind of finish a stock. Hmm. Good opening right here on the side plat. Egen keep keeps going back to the corner. Yeah, he's a big fan of using these platforms Ooh. just to move around and try and bait an option. Yeah, it's you actually. One of the... Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, Egen definitely one of the slower granny players in terms of like just finding their openings, waiting the opponent out, space and back airs. Mm. That's Taking a good point. Movement. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, from a lot of what I've seen about the gen um, is that they 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 seem to be kind of uh, really reactive and patient. They don't really force a lot of situations. They just kind of wait. Yeah. And uh, let their opponent hang themselves. So they try to find them in the most you know vulnerable position possible just to get the most guaranteed follow up or attack anything like that. Mhm. Mm oh, I love that. <laughs> oh. It's beautiful. So much momentum. Oh, wow. Wow, surprise that took it there. Yeah, uh, sweet spot F tilt. bad DI, perhaps? Yeah, that that tilt is like one of the strongest tilts in the game, I swear to God. That that tilt just like will kill you at like 110 if you're not DIing it right across the stage very easily. Oh, nice. That's, That's the good teeter. Yeah, catch your opponent not slime can't not not slime shielding there. You're definitely gonna die. Granny down strong, way too strong. Oh yeah, and even I've if seen... they had slime shield, sweet spot knee is pretty safe on shield if I recall. Yeah, if you hit it low, um, I did see Dejen uh, doing a lot of uh, shield shield strings where he um, does knee really low and he immediately does down strong. Doesn't look like it's shield grabbable. Oh, red extension yeah. follow up there. Mm -hmm. Bomb in hand. Bombs away. Mm, yeah. Interesting thing about Granny is that most of her pressure on shield, as far as like shield pressure, is really based on um, spacing. She doesn't really have like a fox pressure per se, but when do she does have slime cancels on, on lock, um, most of the things that she would do really close up on shield can be safe to shield grab if you use jab initially. Jab is. Uh, generally going to beat out grab before it actually punishes like F smash or down tilt or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Azula being one of the characters with a very good jab as well. Ooh, that's that's like the, the, the alpha stone special. Yep. 
Oh god, that high arc. Oh, oh, oh my god. Jesus. My goodness. He's so talented. Yes, very <laughs> talented knee that, that's actually, there. That's actually a Big crazy trade, though. It is, because that move actually has a decent amount of priority in front. He kind of attacked it from this uh, diagonal upwards yeah. situation. That was pretty good. I don't see a lot of trades like that with uh, Azula's kick that often. Especially not moves that would typically kill like that. Yeah, I mean, I think... I think the biggest thing that we kind of saw there was, honestly, Ben was getting... A lot more damage more often off of most of their conversions, but Granny Granny is a weird character, man. She 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 has a she has situations where she's just kind of like picking and prodding at your percent. Mm -hmm. And then she has situations where she's here to death you. And then both situations she just like can randomly kill you with an aerial at 110. You're not really safe at any percent against her. Low percent, mid, high. She's she doesn't really have any gaps in um the percent range where like you're not going to get blown up yeah for example azula died at 64 on that last stock from strong <laughs> <laughs> jeez uh ooh, miracle city one of azula's best stages in my opinion yeah this is like this is like your most like fd like stage where you can just chain multiple up airs and just completely <laughs> just drag them across the stage um, of... funnily enough i think this is also another like definitely top tier granny stage um mm -hmm. mainly just because of her mobility she's so quick on the ground um kind of outclasses most characters and overall attributes in terms of speed she can just really run around her opponents and you know azula's up air is really good but uh you know granny's got that straight up donkey kong up air and that thing that thing slaps oh crazy. yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm sure dgen's also probably fairly happy about this counter pick again he, he loves using those platforms Ooh. to move but snare it is one of the best moves in azula's kit yeah really important in this matchup is uh you need to kind of balance the way that you di off up throw because when you di like that at those higher percents you actually just guarantee die to snare you need to um you need to hold in in those situations mm -hmm. miracle is one of the three oh stages God. with the closest oh. shield break the he shield has pressure with the uh, oh okay he uh, does have, yeah he did have burst there so didn't have to guarantee die one, i was actually kind of worried about the clock um getting away of the up smash kill i'm curious if he was planning on having the clock hit them out of burst or maybe he just threw it up because but oh, that would have been too know... galaxy brained that would have been crazy i don't know i've seen dgen have some moments where he just cooks I mean, he's cooking right now, you know. It, it oh, may yeah. look like that uh, Ben is up, but honestly, I, I think in these kind of situations, Granny is actually a lot more favored. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that would have killed oh, it. That connected. Going so deep. Yeah, Dijon's getting out of those percent windows where Azula's combos are going to be really finding those options. There's just going to be a lot of more straight Ooh. hits. Very, very use that you see out of uh, Azula dash tag, but it actually is a bit oh. of a tricky move. That little extension on the ground, it's pretty mm -hmm. disjointed. Also just gonna hit the day one classic. Oh, that's a stock. So close. Benjamin keeping stage control very well this game. Yeah, I mean, they've been on the back foot for most of the stock, but honestly, it's just a, it's a matter of just getting hit by all these big granny moves. You know, mm -hmm. trying to do your best you can to uh, attack on some damage before you drop it. Wow, this dash tag yeah. is getting a lot of mileage, just kind of disrupting the, the ground movement that DJ's trying to utilize here. Good combo. Yeah. Dash tag isn't the safest move for Azula, but it definitely is very strong. I know Alpha Stone specifically is a big fan of using it in certain matchups, like when they played versus uh, Levi's Jimmy. They would tend to spam Ooh. a lot. Up smash. Hold on now. Yeah. Ben has been up. controlling this last few moments here. Oh, I actually want to find it. Not quite going to get in range for the upbeat to connect. A lot of dash attacks coming this game. Oh yeah, it, it's so interesting. It's a move that I don't really see utilized to this much, but honestly, it's it, it's been really good at disrupting DJ. And I think 
I think it's starting to come into his mind now that he needs to start respecting it because it is really messing him up. Oh my, oh my god, god the down smashes. Oh, oh, oh that kills. That kills? Kill? Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even with the slime cancel debuff too, damn. Yeah, I, I it, it's crazy. I, I always used to say to uh, Alpha Snow when we used to play, I was just like, I'm pretty certain the slime cancel debuff applies to everyone except for Granny because she's too damn strong. <laughs> <laughs> Miracle is also one of those stages with those very close side blast zones. Yep. So a lot of those horizontal kill options become a lot more prevalent. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Uh, this is a incredibly dangerous percent for Ben to be sitting at. He has to end this game right now. Oh, almost found Oh, that's not the recovery. Yeah, I think I think what was trying to happen there is that we were trying to get a... Uh, an air, aerial snare into a uh, double jump up B to the mm -hmm. uh, to the ledge, but I guess missed the timing on the jump and just got too low. Yeah, unfortunate, but I believe that's should be one one now, correct? Yeah, yes. it's gonna be one one. Oh, Honestly, okay. I think if you're Ben, you're uh, you're feeling pretty good about that because uh, you know how the tides of the game were going. It doesn't it didn't look like you were gonna win that one if it naturally played out, but. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. that's the nature of competition. You get, you get a sign, a sign from uh, a sign from above that you're you're supposed to make it further than <laughs> the other guy. But you, we can't, you can't rely on your opponent messing up every time. You gotta, oh, yeah. gotta stay clean. And even for Degen, not the worst feeling because if he ha wants to go back to Miracle, he can. But because of DSR, Benjamin no longer can pick that stage. So yep. It is somewhat beneficial for DGen, even if you would rather have the win. Silver linings. Interesting banning from uh, Ben. Um, Tree Mortarn. I'm not too. I'm not too certain if that that would be a stage that I would be worried about going to against Granny. But uh, the harmonic, I definitely agree with. I think you just pretty much get completely outmaneuvered on that stage. Oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Granny just has so much mobility on the ground and shield drop attacking with up air and back mm -hmm. air. It's a lot of a lot of space to cover with Azula. Zola yeah. is uh, interesting in general. Like, it, it feels like bes out of, besides just up air, she she kind of fights on the same plane as her opponent. Like, very forward. She can't really like attack diagonal positions really well. Yeah, I think the Tremerton ban was just because I know Azulas aren't a big fan of things like the reverse battlefield layout, especially because it messes up their up throw combos. Yeah. Uh, so that layout plus Granny's smash attacks, being able to just demand so much space. Uh. Probably just something they didn't want to deal with. Makes but they sense. did up for food dreams. Yeah, Benjamin taking a very commanding lead in this first <laughs> stock. <laughs> Already a full stock lead on Benjamin's part. Only taking yeah. 6% too. And getting another string going. Still going. Already has D-Gen at ledge. Yeah, this is getting... This is mounting really quick. Yeah, Zula is just one of those characters where, especially versus a fast follower, they can just snowball a lead so quickly. There it is. Oh, I'm not getting the snare follow up, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I think actually what we we should have saw was the uh, the, the slant cancel down B. I think that might have taken the stock right there. Ooh, Benjamin loves doing that. The side special one, the slime cancel up smash. He's yeah. caught Degen with it a few times now. Yeah, I, I saw that was kind of like a oh, like a yeah, sig sig signature attack from Ben. It's uh, it's pretty tricky. I mean, you just pretty much get a sliding up smash with a multi hit coming at your opponent. It's kind of difficult mm -hmm. to defend against. Yeah, I'm just gonna find the Azula up here and get the stock. It's still very. Mm -hmm. It's actually a pretty decent situation for Djen. It's not. Yeah. He's brought it back somewhat. I think I can tell that. Oh, uh, oh my oh. goodness! Second shield break. Um, Bring out the spatula. We can. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, no. We're not clipped. Okay. 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 All right. We were it's about so to get good. clipped, and it was going to be a good one. <laughs> I was concerned for a second there. He almost uh, accidentally threw the or not uh, threw. He almost hit the fly swatter attack Ooh. on Benjamin, but didn't connect. Is going to find the punish and potentially the stock off of this. 
Yeah, so. definitely, definitely a big uh, combination. I want to give the Ben is that I, I, I definitely can tell they have some Grandy experience in the in the matchup. Um, they're mm -hmm. di off of the up throws at early percents. They're doing a good job of not diing out. Usually, Granny's most juicy combo they're going to get at these low mid percents is down throw into um, snare off stage into slime cancel knee. It's going to be like a fifty percent combo. They're diing. Oh. oh my no, that's going to kill went for you. It all. No. Yeah. I respect it. Oh, that. On stream, you gotta go for the clip. No. Oh, no. Get him for that. The Little game. Too deep. Yeah, he gets way too hit deep. By the up B and his jump gets eaten for it. I like mm. the idea of the uh, edge guard. Just C drop the spatula. It just went way too deep for that. Yeah. And it's, lost it's, in the sauce. It's pretty crazy because I think the biggest the biggest thing that we were seeing with uh, Degen going into the qual for top four is that there was a bit of uh, tech flubs with the offstage execution with some of the canceling and just overall mobility all stage not looking the cleanest in that in that uh in that regard mm -hmm. um but what i was saying to ben is that uh i i do commend them because i can definitely tell they have some granny experience usually when you're uh Fighting Granny at the mid low percent, you don't really want to DI out down throw. That gives her her best combos. Usually at low percent, you can get side B into slime cancel down throw re grab, you know, aerial snare into slime cancel knee, like a 50% combo. Doing like a slight DI in to make sure that you kind of arc up doesn't give her a lot of options, especially if she down throws you at, in the corner. She can't really follow up anything more than just the knee. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think one of the interesting things as well that Connor was bringing up was uh, these two have played each other a good amount just in the matchmaking channel. Uh, mm -hmm. So they probably have a good idea of what both characters want to get combo-wise and how to play around it or mix it up a bit. Yeah. It's definitely it's definitely shown for sure. Yeah. Degen's mixed it up a little bit as well with uh, making Benjamin think he can get snare routes instead of the uh, uh, slime lightning. Just mixing up okay. enough where he's not quite getting the uh, full zero to deaths or uh, kill moves off. I think going back to Food Dreams is a good choice on Dgen's behalf because he realizes last game, you know, it's like, hey, I died at a low percent my last two stocks. You know, maybe that was a fluke. Let's just try it again. Mm -hmm. And if things go the way they should, you know, he might be able to pull this one through. Mm. Taking a strong lead at the start of this first stock as well. Oh yeah, carrying that confidence in. That's a big part too, just not letting those losses uh, affect you too much, and it looks like Dijun's just kind of running with it right now. Yeah, I definitely like that down tilt. That's something that I utilized a lot when I was playing with Granny. Um, just execution testing the ledge dashes. If they're at all a little bit slow, it's just so active, it will just attack any vulnerability frames before they can get an attack out. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a fair jab. Not sure how safe it was. Might just be like a little bit of a frame trap, but nice little mix up. Yeah, in general, like most of our aerials done pretty low um, are pretty much entirely safe to shield grab, at least if you throw out a jab. Jab is uh, comes out very, very quickly, and she has just a, a ton of shield stun on her aerials. Mm hmm. Oh, wait, what move hit? That was F tilt. Oh, it was F tilt. Okay. Chop. Oh. Yeah, Degen looking completely wow. different from last game. Oh, oh no. Oh. The misinput right. taunt. Yeah, I'm going to assume misinput because uh, there definitely wasn't anything to laugh about there. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you wanted to eat a halberd to the face. I mean, to each his own. Benjamin's sort of finding his footing, though. Finally. He's get control of the stage now, but Degen immediately back in control. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, reading Literally the slicing the off the bangs off of Zula's head. Yep. <laughs> Barely missed that F strong. One uh, interesting thing that I'm noticing Dijon already changed from last game is he's not going anywhere near as deep as he was. He just said he's sort of more content to just sit at ledge and play for the ledge trap scenario as opposed to like force the edge guard. Yeah, I mean it. it it's a 
it's not necessarily out of a lack of limitation. It's just I, I think maybe Degen isn't exactly most proficient in those spaces because Randy definitely has like some setups where she can go off stage, but she overall is like a very like corner pressure stage control mm -hmm. oriented character. She gets the most benefit when she has the most stage possible to do long extended combos and then end them with big big finishers. Yeah, she kind of just has the choices to do either or. And oh, Degen just factory. understanding it didn't work out. Tijin also just has had the lead for a while, so they're opting for something less risky. Oh, oh my no. goodness! Oh no! Senpak with the commentator's uh, curse. I, the commentator's <laughs> curse. I'll stop talking. I'll stop talking real quick. Oh my god! <laughs> As a comedian, I, mean, I am very sorry. You know how it is. We <laughs> know, I definitely know how it is. I almost wonder if he got the uh, reversed fast fall by mistake. Yeah, that, is that bug still in? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, Benjamin taking that flub and running oh, with it Oh, my God. Now. Not the dash attacks coming out again. Notice notice how it's just being so effective at cutting uh, Eden's, uh ground movement. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Oh, first first knee. Getting him off stage. Yeah, I don't know if we needed to knee there. I think the down strong possibly could have killed at that percent. That percent probably. Or at least force burst. But... Oh, trying to go to Oh, okay. Yeah, that wouldn't have killed, but I understand why Ben Ben uh, was feeling a little pressure to uh, burst there. Definitely a scary situation to be in. Oh. I was just about to say this is a very pitiful stock because I think I think the big thing that Azula can struggle with is that she kind of doesn't really do too great against Granny at these percents because she needs to really like get a true confirmed end of, end of stock. Mm -hmm. Now you're just fishing for raw attacks, and Granny is a big whiff punish character. If you make one whiff, you're gonna eat 60 damage off of like any kind of conversion. It's pretty nuts. Yeah. Ooh. Although Benjamin has good. found pretty good success with that slime canceled side B into a uh, up strong. Got it a bit last game as well. Or not last game, two games ago on Miracle City. Oh, this can this can be huge, huge damage. DJ needs to get out of this immediately. Oh no. Oh, finding himself off stage. Oh then wow, great it. up air. Oh, anti-air jab. DJ is on the back foot. Oh, SD. Oh. Oh, he thought he was going to land on stage, but I, I, I think he could have, but maybe he fast fell and that cut off the amount of time he could land on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. yeah. Yeah, no, I thought that was a slime dash down initially, but no, that was just fast full EX lightning. Yeah, I, I, I think I think if they just timed it slightly later, they would have landed on stage as they intended. But I think, yeah, I think when they did it, they just did it too soon, ended up mm -hmm. fast falling completely off stage. And, uh... uh even even with the slime version of that down B, that move is incredibly slow. There is yeah. no way that you're going to be able to uh, recover after that. Unfortunate SD. I mean, you know, it's it for Tat. DJ got an SD. Ben got an edge D. So Fair that's enough. the battle of the gods. Who who's gonna make it to grand finals winner side? Game five. This is the fourth game five in this top eight. That's I mean. I, I think I think it's definitely you know winding down. You know a lot of people are. Th th this is the best of the best of you know today. These are the best players that mm -hmm. you know are in the bracket. You know they showed they showed up the most out of everyone here. Definitely. Um, so it, it's not too surprising to me that the competition is really really close. Um, and. You know, it's not even too surprising to me as to, you know, kind of more on an Arcadian level. It's really breaking down to, you know, who can have the composure, who can stop the SDs, have the mm -hmm. more consistent confirms, you know. For sure. A lot of these things are just the basic fundamentals of what separates, you know, low level, mid level, and high level play. Yeah, mm -hmm. stamina sure. is also another thing. Like, I'm pretty sure this bracket started almost, it started five and a half hours ago. So these players have been playing for a very long time. Non-stop mm -hmm. with no break. I was gonna mention that too. Yeah. One of the bigger breaks out. One of the bigger tournaments as of recent. For sure. When was the last time there was like a hundred entrants? Yeah. Like a hundred fourteen, right? So. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna end this game on rooftop. rooftop. 
There's going to be a winner between these two. Is it going to be the Gurney? Classic. Is it going to be the Azula? What's what's the commentator's picks here? Who do who do we got? Who who's looking the strongest right now? Dejan was looking really strong in that last game. Started to slip a bit towards the end, but I mean, if he can just keep that lead going, they think he's got it. I'm I'm kind of with you with you there. The adaptations he made to just play a lot more safe and know when to go for over extensions. He, he's gonna have this game, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Rooftop's also a pretty good stage for him. Yeah, I I, I am concerned about the stage pick from Ben. I I, I think this is one of you know, and it, I feel like I'm on a uh, you know repeater right now. But Granny just has so many good stages, and Rooftop is especially one of them. Vertical and horizontal killing, very very strong. The uh, the different uh, the height for these platforms as well are just so good for her aerial combo game with up air. Mm -hmm. I think Benjamin was just tired of uh, seeing Dgen hit percents like what 170. I think he hit last game. Yeah, I mean that's that's food dreams with Granny. She's a she's a hefty girl. Oh yeah. Oh. There you go. It's Get kinda... up into snare. That's a true confirm. Yeah, it's uh. It's kind of slipping away. Dgen, like, you know, at 130, even even on the smaller stage, Ben's not really getting the secure of the kill. Even on the Still not going to do DI. it. Yeah. And all this little percent that Dgen's t tickling on, it's it's just going to make the next oh. stock so much easier to, to end just with a raw aerial. Oh, this could be mm. big, though. Good DI, Ben. Dgen. Dgen can keep him cornered. He can rack up a lot of percent. Oh, Benjamin actually oh. just gonna hit three bars. We're so <gasps> gonna have a lot of slime to play with. Burst. Burst interrupting. Yep. Confirmed. Bursting with three bars is oh, very God. good. Oh God! I can't believe that wasn't Tipper. That was Tipper. That oh. Whoa. Surprised that the downer whipped there. Oh my God! Tjen getting a little impatient, starting it, to go off stage more. Benjamin has been very reliant on shield, and it's it has bit him a little oh, bit in this it. set with two shield breaks, but. Yeah, especially with Grandma's shield pressure, you can't be holding shield against this character, especially when she has bars of slime to continue the shield poke and setups. Oh my, that snare does not quite get it. Oh, this can be big damage. The up air oh, chains. No. There we go. Oh no. There we go. Okay. So much damage off of a single down throw into reading a tech option on the platform. Just 61 damage. Just so nuts. Yeah, that up air is. Azula I mean, look good. at this right now. This is this is the mobility of Granny. I mean, like Azula is not a slow character by any means, but he's just having a tough time even catching Granny, just jumping oh. and short hopping around platforms. The punch is online. We'll see if uh, DJ opts to use it or if he's just going to hold it as a threat. <sighs> oh, been shooting shooting the the spirit gun just a little too early. Oh, ah. I'm not gonna get the chance of the punch rip, however. It... We'll see if he can uh, find it without the punch. Ejen also using Granny's jab very well this set, I've noticed. Just throwing one, jab one out to check, and then going off of that. Oh my goodness. The rolling. Oh, oh is that. No. Oh, it again. Break. What is this? The third shield break? That's yep. it. That's definitely gonna kill. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect oh, and we hit in that yoga pose. Let's go. <laughs> My goodness. Jeez. I mean, I, Dgen has really re like represented to me that like you need to be very careful shielding against him because he's very good mm -hmm. at getting that low knee into down strong, and it, it looks like a true confirm on your shield. Like maybe, maybe you can get a buffer roll out if you time it well, but the shield stun just lasts so long on the knee that it's very hard to get that window. Yeah, no, his shield pressure that set was just insane. Yeah, I think Benjamin had to just go for more whip punishes and be a bit careful about the defensive options. That was definitely the difference maker. But good stuff from both players. Really cool set. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Wow.